What is up guys? This is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another recap video. Please stop with the recap bids. Please. We need gameplay. I know. I get it. But I don't want to show you guys bad gameplay. It's going to be like, oh my god, your gameplay is lagging. Oh my god, your gameplay is lagging. I fixed it, but I got to show you guys the other games first. Alright. So in this game, we took NL. What? Sin lost the game? Unbelievable. Um... We lost the Big 12 Championship 38-28 to to a very good West Virginia team. Um, this team just had our number in, in this game. And it's kind of hard to believe because we... Oh, Sin, you beat number one Texas, but you lose to number 10 West Virginia? <laughs> happens. It's college football any given Saturday. You know, look at Iowa State this year, for example. No one would thought Iowa State would be a good football program. They're 6-2 and two at the time of this video that was recorded. So, yeah. Anyway... Uh, take a look here. We did get the first points up on the board, though. Uh, Thomas Wilson with an eight-yard touchdown run to get us on the board. And that was a good start for us, but they came right back uh, just a minute and some change later with a 15-yard touchdown pass to Pennington. But we came right back in the second quarter and put ourselves up again 14-7. to But they came right back with a 51-yard field goal to make it 14-10 to at halftime. And then West Virginia took off. Uh, in the second in the second half, third quarter especially. 31-yard touchdown pass here, 4-yard touchdown run here, 2-yard uh, touchdown run here. We made a, quite a bit of mistakes in this game. Uh, turned the ball over when we shouldn't have. But as time expired here in the fourth or third quarter, we did get a touchdown to bring ourselves back within a couple of uh, scores. And then we get right back in it again with another touchdown here. And we were thinking like, okay, it's you know 31-28. or 31 -28. We're back in it. We just got to make a stop, but unfortunately, we could not get that stop when we needed to the most as West Virginia puts the game on ice and makes it a 38 to 28 win over the Arkansas State Red Wolves. And that puts us at 11 and two on the season, putting us at number 12 in the country. Not a bad spot to be at, but nonetheless, it sucks that we had to take an L like this in the Big 12 championship. Uh, so take a look at team stats. Our, uh, West Virginia had more first downs, 1917. Total offense was very close, 440 to 430. Uh, rushing attempts, oh my God, West Virginia dominated. It was 194 to 90. We didn't even get 100 yards rushing. We were struggling to run the ball. Uh, passing attempts was 16 for 32. We didn't very, do very good offensively in general. Uh, 16 to 32 for three touchdown passes. Uh, but we also had a few interceptions in there as well. Um, passing yards, 350 to 236. Uh, three for seven on third downs where West Virginia was six for nine. We went one for two on third or fourth downs. And we only converted 75% of our red zone attempts. We had two interceptions. That was definitely not what we wanted. Uh, punt return yards and kick return yards are pretty much in our favor, but it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. 639 to 440 was the total yards uh, difference there. And we didn't dominate time of possession like we usually did. There was only a two-second difference on time of possession. West Virginia did a really good job of getting, uh, making the most of their opportunities. And, and I, I, I give them a lot of praise for that. Uh, because usually in the last two recap videos you've seen, you've seen time of possession way in our favor by like 15 to 8. They kept it really close. It was, like I said, this was almost a dead-on... 12 minutes to 12 minute um, time of possession. Literally off by a second. So we're going to take a look at stats here. Thomas Wilson, 16 of 32, 350 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. Not a good game for him. Uh, not at all, actually. He had the passing yards to say, oh, yeah, that's a good game, but he, you know, turned the ball over, so you don't really like to see that. Uh, rushing. We couldn't get Clark Douglas going. We got Clay Jackson a couple carries for 24 yards. You know, he he was effective. Uh, but Thomas Wilson also fumbled the ball, but luckily he was able to recover it. Uh, but still, you know, we can't have people like that making mistakes. Uh, Clint Singleton had a, had a really good game. Like, five catches, 163, two scores. Good game. Um, ben McAfee, three for 75. Clark Douglas, three for 41. Uh, the other Douglas, the Douglas brothers. And then we got Lorenzo Harrison, one catch for negative one yard. 
Uh, uh, Chad Ford, one catch, 23 yards. Clay Jackson, one for 14. Uh, we got sacked a couple times. Uh, defensively, we got a sack there as well. And West Virginia didn't even turn the ball over either. That's kind of what's bothering me. They didn't. I don't think they turned the ball over at all. And usually we're really good at forcing turnovers. But in this instance, we just couldn't get a turnover. And we had opportunities. I know this game very well. Like it almost like it happened yesterday. Uh, but they just could not turn. They were they were just impeccable out there. I had opportunities to get turnovers. But Lawrence just picked this apart. And Lawrence, 16 ca carries for 126 yards. He did a majority of the damage in the run game, which I don't like to see that because I'm just not a fan of running quarterbacks at all. Well, I say that because I and, I, and then I look at my UAB dynasty and I have Kenny, Kenny Wright and he runs like a madman. But, I mean, most of his runs are from read options and most of these... Most of the AI, when they run, they drop back to pass, and then they run, and they don't, then they don't even look for the receivers. So what am I talking about? Um, <clears throat> got a couple of big plays here from uh, White here and another White here. Uh, there's two Whites. E. White had five catches for 104, two scores. Uh, Pennington had another touchdown right there to, make, um, to match uh, his stat line. Two catches, 30 yards. So another nice day for the receiving core there in West Virginia. Uh, looking at their defense, they got a couple of good plays on them. They got the interception here from Preston. Maddox got a sack. Um, and then you got another sack from Martin here. And we, It, it kind of, even one sack can really kind of make yourself a little bit weary in the pocket, I suppose. Um, good kicking game from Pittman. He made one from 52. No, Not much to really say about punting. Two cat punts for 41 yards. Not a bad punt. He had one net punt for 65 yards. Um, so not a bad day for him. Pennington had a one punt return for 10 yards. But that's about it for this one as well. So we ended up losing the Big 12 Championship. And in the bowl game, we are going to be taking on number 21, South Carolina. And it should be a good one. I mean, we're, we're ranked number 12. So, it, you know, not a bad way to end the season at all. And... You know, I, I, I still think this is a very successful season. We can't really complain about 11 wins. When we, if I look back at the schedule now, um, that we're playing in the Cotton Bowl against uh, South Carolina, I look back at the season and there's just a lot of close games, ones that are like within one possession, games that we shouldn't have won. We're like Texas. Um, we shouldn't be. We shouldn't have beaten Texas Tech. I feel like we should have lost that one too. We shouldn't have lost, beat Florida. Uh, you know, we had a really close game here and a really close game here. Both games we couldn't we we should have easily lost those two because we just played like crap in those games. Um, so there's a lot of room for improvement for this team. Um, not to say that we're not a good team, but there's just I think we finally our luck ran out <laughs> is what you want to call it uh, against West Virginia. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you guys did, drop a like and get ready for the Cotton Bowl against the South Carolina Gamecocks. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.